Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Our Lord and our Savior. honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, never will. Shalom, Wahabla, Bakhir, Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with the lesson. Baharacha Khurash, Allah. <clears throat> in the Holy Spirit of Truth, and um, the topic of this video, well, it's gonna be like a uh, you know quick response to uh, the Bishop Nate of the IUIC, the, or the Bishop Nathaniel of the um, of the IUIC. Um, I'm gonna just let him speak for himself, and then we are gonna go from there. Brothers will say, I don't commit adultery, I don't look at porn, I don't do drugs. Commit lasciviousness or concupiscence. I don't have them problems. I'm good with Jesus or Yahweh Shai, whatever you call. Him. But the problem you do have is your oh. or Yahweh Shai, whatever you call. Him. Problems. I'm good with Jesus or Yahweh Shai, whatever you call. Him. Or Yahweh Shai, whatever you call. Him. So you heard him, right? He said, "I'm, uh, I'm." Brothers will say, "I'm. I don't do this. I don't do that. I'm good with Jesus or Yahweh Shai, whatever you call him." And that itself is taking the Lord, the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord and our Savior. That's taking His name in vain. Okay, and that's against the law. This group likes to uh, uh, preach the law, the law, the law, and have your fringes on, and you got to put on a dress, sister. But they're breaking one of the top laws and not take, taking the um, Lord's name in vain. Right? Saying whatever you call him. Pretty much, yeah, you can call him Jesus. You can call him Yahweh Shai. You can call him Yeshua. Whatever you want to call him. Right? That show you that this man is not, uh, as of now, lest ye repent. Like the scriptures say. Like Yahweh Shai said, lest ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. That's Luke, that's Luke 13. In Luke the 19th chapter, the Lord said, those that are my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. So right now, you sound like an enemy of Yahweh Shai Mashiach because his friends, his servants are not going to say, yeah, you can call them whatever you want. All right. His friends, his servants, a matter of fact, in the book of Sirach, the 17th chapter, the 10th verse, it says that the elect shall praise his holy name. The elect is going to praise his holy name, not, not going to say, oh, you can call him whatever you want. Right? That's an enemy. That's what an enemy would do. Okay? In the book of Psalms, what did King David say? We'll start off with that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 138 and verse 20. Uh, Sirach chapter 138 and verse 19 Surely thou wilt slay the wicked O Yahweh Depart from me therefore ye bloody men For they speak against thee wickedly And thine enemies take thy name in vain An enemy will take the Lord's name in vain An enemy will say you can call him whatever you want Right Let's go and get that word vain It's a lock, yeah. Uh, what was that? Psalms one thirty eight. Baba Kusha, bear with me. It's acting up. There's way more verses in this. Stopping at eight. Okay, so I don't know what what the deal is on this blue letter app. Let's see if Etamon's working. It could it could be my Wi-Fi. Yeah, see, it's or it's Satan. That's what it is. It just exit me out of that that uh. That app. Bible Kosha, bear with me.
Let's just look it up on the Etamon. Right, the word vain. It says devoid of real value. Right, whatever you call them. Worthless. Doesn't matter. Right? Empty, void, idle, fruitless. To leave abandoned. Right? And he would be guilty of that because at one point, Bishop Nathaniel was teaching. Fervently teaching the name of the Heavenly Father. Fervently teaching the name of his only begotten son. Right? But he abandoned that. Now he's talking about Jesus, the Christ. Okay? Um, let me see something. Let's try that blue letter one more one more again. Okay. You want to play rough? To lock it for the inconvenience. Psalms 138. And then they send me back to the fucking. <laughs> then they send me back to the goddamn uh, app that's not working. All right, fuck it. Okay, that that'll do then. Let's see if we can get it. Let's let's see if we can at least go down on another. On another chapter. This Exodus chapter 20 and verse 7. It says thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. And what, uh, what Nathaniel was doing just there and the whole IUIC. They do it as well. Right. They take the name of the heavenly father Yahweh in vain. They take the name of his only begotten son Yahweh Shai in vain. The Lord's not going to leave you guiltless, man. He's not just going to let that slide. He's not just going to let that pass. Okay? Hey, the, the Egyptian boy, that Egyptian boy, he was he was blaspheming the name of the Lord. Okay? They uh, uh they held him in a ward, and Moses went to inquire of the Lord, what, we sh what should we do with this man who's talking shit, who's blaspheming and taking your name in vain? The Lord said, stone his ass. Right? Shawa, shawa, ah. Emptiness, vanity, falsehood, nothingness. Meaning it does, it does, worthlessness. Okay, it doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever you call them. You call them Jesus. Call, they say you can call them Yo Play Yogurt. They say you can call them Jalapeno Pepper. Again, this is not signs of the Lord's elect. This is not signs of his friends. Even Yahweh Shai said, all those that you have given me, I have manifested thy name unto them. Okay? So, so the elect is going to have the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of his only begotten Son sealed within them, as it says in the book of Revelations, the, um, uh, Revelations, the 14th chapter, man. I'm going to just read these pre precepts off my out of my um, sword because this phone is just bugging. His phone is just bugging, all right? Uh, let's go back into Psalms chapter 139. Uh, one, 130, you're right. That's that's where I messed up at. When I was on the blue letter, I put typed in 138. It's 139. Salakia. Yeah, that's my fault, all right? Psalms chapter 139 and verse 19. Surely that will slay the wicked, O power. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men, for they speak against thee wickedly. And thine enemies take thy name in vain. Thy enemies... Throw your name around. Thy enemies think your name is worthless. Thy enemies will say you could call them whatever you want. You could call them your yogurt. You could call them jalapeno pepper. You can call them Jesus if you would like. That's taking the Lord's name in vain. He doesn't have many different names that you can call upon that he's going to accept. All right. He has one name as it says in the book of Zephaniah. Or is that Zechariah? Let's double check that. This is the book of... 
Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 9. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. And in that day, in that day, there shall, like here, in that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. So it's not whatever you want to call him. Right? You can't call him, you just can't call him a, a Jesus or whatever you feel like. Or you can't call him jalapeno pepper as long as you have your fringes. You can't call him a, a, a yo play yogurt. Okay? As long as you're paying your tights. You got to call upon the correct name. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. When Moses went to, uh, when, when, the, uh, when Moses was speaking to the Lord, the Lord didn't say, yeah, go and tell Israel, uh, you, can, you can call me whatever you want. As long as y'all wear y'all fringes. No, he said, my name is Yahweh. This is my name forever from generation to generation. Okay? And Yahweh Shai's name ain't changed either. He, he was given a specific name in the book of Matthews. Right? The, the angel told his father, name him this. And that's his name to this day. Yahweh Shai the same yesterday, today, and forever. This is the book of Matthews chapter 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. So this is the angel speaking to Joseph, the biological father of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Hey, hey man, you niggas call yourself blitz in the church. Y'all call upon, y'all serve the same God. Y'all call upon the same name. Y'all move the same way. Okay? No difference between, y'all are, are just a Christian church with an Israelite spin to it, man. It says, but, um... And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. There's an angel specifically telling Joseph what to name his son, what to name his child. Right? He didn't say, yeah, you can call him whatever you want. You can call him Jesus or whatever you want to call him. Right? He said, he specifically said, call his name Yahweh Shai. Why? For he shall save his people from their sins. That's what his name means. He's the savior. He is salvation. He is the deliverer. He's he's deliverance. Okay. It, 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 there's no way. There's no way, shape, or form. When the angel came to Joseph, he said, "Call him Jesus." The letter J wasn't even around. Joseph was a Hebrew Israelite. Yahweh Shai. It's evident that our Lord Yahweh Shai sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Judah speaks Hebrew. His name would have to be given in the Hebrew, just like Chinese people have Chinese names. Right? Spanish people have Spanish names. And so on and so forth. Right? Yahweh Shai being a Hebrew was given a Hebrew name. Again, being Yahweh Shai, and there's no other name given amongst uh, uh, heaven whereby we must be saved. Let's read that straight out the Bible. And this is, this is um, meat for these guys. I dealt with, uh, us out here, we dealt with an IUIC guy a couple of times. Call himself passing out flyers where we teaching that. Right? And then when we bring out these scriptures, he he's fumbling and bumbling. Simple precepts that show that you have to respect and honor and praise and call upon the name of Yahweh, Pash, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, the most high in the name of his only begotten son. Yahweh Shai said, anything that you ask of the Father in my name, that will he do. Okay? So it's Yahweh, true name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, His true name. Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So that name, that precious, glorious name is upon this earth. It's been revealed in these last days. Why? For the elect to call upon for salvation. Proverbs 18, chapter the 10, verse, it says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. The elect is going to praise that name. But the unrighteous, the ungodly, the ones that's not of the elect, they're going to uh, uh, blaspheme that name. They're going to take that name in vain. They're going to scoff and they're going to talk shit. Okay? Let's go back into that Psalms. A little bit more on that. It's Psalms 139, not 138. So like Psalm chapter 139. In verse 20, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. So just off of that, you're an enemy of the Lord. And we quote it to Luke 19, those that are my enemies that don't want me to reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. Right? That name that you calling upon Jesus, look him up. Look up Jesus and see who the fuck pop up, man. All right? On the flip side, look up Yahweh Shai. All right? Two different people. 
It says, um, verse 21, do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. And this is a man after the most high's heart, right? This is King so, so this is King David speaking. So the house of David is gonna praise the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? And the house of Saul is gonna take that name in vain. It's gonna take those names in vain. Right? The name, the, the name of our Lord holds salvation. That's how we're gonna be delivered. Let's get that in um Revelation. This is Revelation chapter 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion and with him in hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Now, this is a, a perfect case of lost in translation, right? The New Testament was translated out of the Greek into the English. As it was being translated, certain words are, get lost. Certain words weren't fully translated, Right? So this word, when you read in the Greek, where it was originally translated from before it was in, into the English, it should say having his his name, the name of the Lamb, the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and his Father's name written in their forehead. Both the names, the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of his only begotten Son. All right. Um, Proverbs, the 30th chapter, it says, what is his name and what his, is his Son's name, if thou canst tell. So both names hold importance, okay? Both names are to be honored and praised. It says that the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised forever and ever, right? But you got this, this guy and his whole congregation following after him, ignoring all the scriptures that say that we must praise the name of the Lord and not take it in vain. Saying, oh, you can call him whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Call him yo play yogurt if you want. Just make sure you buy your fringes, your IUIC fringes. Call him jalapeno pepper if you want. Just hit the IUIC site and donate. Let's play it again. I don't commit lasciviousness or concupiscence. I don't have them problems. I'm good with Jesus. Or you how shy, whatever you call. Him. But the yeah, him, even him saying, just saying you how shy, you could tell, you could see it. He you know, it's just disrespectful. Whatever, you, whatever you call him, pride, pomp. You could see the pomp. Yeah, well, whatever you want to call that man, that's fucking disrespectful, man. And like we read in the Exodus twenty, right? Let's read that again. And then we start wrapping it up. Let's just, the Spirit give me some more precepts all throughout the Bible. This is Exodus in the law. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 7. It says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. I'm going to read the next verse. Verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Y'all y'all fucking up the Ten Commandments. Y'all supposed to be all about the law. The laws, the statutes, the commandments. Right? We go into the to the to the uh Ten Commandments, right? Which there's more beyond that, right? But the Ten Commandments, the first one, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. And we read up, it says, you shall have no other um, uh, uh, gods before the Lord. Jesus is a different God. In the book of Corinthians, it says, if they preach another Savior or another Jesus, right? Which that word is another Yahweh Shai, another Savior, right? Another deliverer. We, we should bear with them, right? Meaning what? We should, we should contend with them. Right, we're we're fighting the good fight of faith. Let's get that in second Ezra. We're gonna get that in second Ezra before um that'll be the next precept, right? But let's read that again. It says, "Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain." Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, and they t teach that you can uh, defile the Lord's Sabbath day. You can go ahead and pop your woman. It's just like eating ice cream. 
This is what these guys are teaching, man. And if you're still following them, then you got, then you deserve everything that's coming to you, man. They're blatantly going off. And the men of the Lord's been warning you about th this group and all the rest of these other, all, uh, these other groups that's off. That's not teaching according to the Bible. These are not the men that show you. It says in the book of uh, Acts, there's a woman filled with the spirit of divination following Paul and Silas. And she said, these are the men that show us the way of salvation. These, these guys ain't it. They're not showing you the way of salvation. If they're not telling you about the name of the Lord, right? If they're not teaching that name, then you don't got no salvation. Going back into that Acts, it says there's no other name given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Right? They, then, then you don't have that strong tower when shit hit the fan. Right? When there's no when when Jacob's trouble come come come, your fringes ain't gonna um save you. When Jacob's trouble takes place, you're going to have to have the name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And you're going to have to have a good relationship with Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. If you've been disrespecting his name, saying you could call him whatever the hell you want. Then uh, these men really leading you to destruction. If the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch. So let's get that in second address and then, you know, we'll go from there. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 2. Second Ezra, chapter 2, and verse 38. Arise up and stand, behold the number. And I'm going to just read through it speedily. Arise up and stand, behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world, and have received glorious garments of the Lord. And that's not talking about the, the IUIC purple garments. Right, that you, that you order from their website, okay? It's talking about the covering of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, spiritual garments, right? It says, "Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord." And it's talking about the elect, going back into um uh, that revelations that we read, the hundred and forty-four thousand. Right upon Mount Zion, that had the name of Yahweh Shai and the name of his father written in their foreheads. Okay, take that number, the hundred and forty-four thousand men, the governing body, O Zion, twelve thousand out of each tribe, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, us fulfill. Beseech the power of the Lord, that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. That's the rest of the elect, the great multitude, right? The women, the children, the friends of the prophets that's joined on to those men that believe on Yahweh Shai Mashiach through the, through the uh, ministry of those men, as it says in John, the 17th chapter. I pray not only for them, but the, but the ones that believe on me through their word, right? It shows you that we got to be teaching that word correctly and directly. Anyways, it says... But um, whom I could not number, and they all praise the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, yeah, they all praise the Lord with songs. It's not one saying, "Oh, praise Jalapeno Pepper." Another nigga saying, Play, "Praise Jesus." And then you got a nigga in the back, Alhamdulillah, right? No, everybody's gonna be saying, "Kahalayim la Yahweh Baasham Yahweh Shai." Okay, it's not gonna be no confusion. It says, and then, um, it says, Salakia, where was I at? Right, uh, verse 42, I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms. The ones that's going to get the victory, the ones that's going to be crowned, the ones that's going to be saved and rule with Yahweh shine in the world to come. They're confessing with their whole, with their whole heart the name of the Heavenly Father Yahweh in this world. In the land of our captivity, as the scriptures say, it says they shall remember themselves and think upon my name. Right? Verse 46. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is this that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of Yahweh, 
whom they have confessed in the world. So not only confessing the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, but also confessing the name of His Son, being Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's how we get the victory. That's how we get our crown. And that's ultimately how we're going to be delivered and be saved. As we're reading here. So right now, this is not looking like Nathaniel. This is not looking like uh, 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 um, the IUIC. Right? Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Standing stiffly. If you're standing stiffly for something, that means there's an opposition against what you're standing for. Right? And these guys are part of opposition. You can call them whatever you want. We don't have the name right now. He's going to give us a different name in the kingdom. So it doesn't matter. Just call him Jesus, whatever you want to call him. No, we're going to stand stiffly for the name of our power. All right? We will confess openly our Savior. All right? We will not be ashamed to defend our friend. We confess in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in this world. Okay? So having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rechacharash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rechacharash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Akim, your brothers keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nine, redemption's near, then we believe. Shalom.